What is going on everyone? It is Fatal Reaper Day bringing you a video as always and we are back on well, Fortnite. <laughs> no, we're not really on Fortnite. Well, actually, misconception, we are on Fortnite. So, what we're doing here today is a test on the, as you saw, my setup with an RTX 2070 Super. And before we continue, guys, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, as always. And let's jump into this video. So, what you're seeing first is me flying into Fortnite on one of my kind of older videos. But we are on the uh, RTX 2070 Super, which is my main setup. Uh, full description down below of what you want to... Uh, what I have is an R, it's a Ryzen 7 3700X with a 16GB RAM and, um, like I just said, RTX 2070 Super. So with that being said, that is going to be the main setup. We're going to be tying this against and we'll be in the next segment here in just a little bit. And it will be of the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. And in this video, particular for the HP, uh, HP Pavilion, we have 8GB RAM, GTX 1650, and an i5-9300 CPU. Um, again, down in the description below, you will find all the necessary information you need if you're wondering how much, what it exactly has. Um, I have recently upgraded my RAM on the HP Pavilion, so I do now have 16 gigs of RAM on the HP Pavilion as well. I will be doing a revised test on Fortnite with the 16 gb RAM to see any difference, and on the um, uh, Modern Warfare as well, because I noticed those were very big hits with you guys. I, I think 8,000 views on the Modern Warfare video and about 16,000 video, uh, 16,000 views on the uh, Fortnite one of the original test so I want to say thank you for that guys and that is a just a glorious number that I like seeing and it's 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 for you guys mainly too because I you know I know you guys want to see how well this laptop runs and you know what, what what you're getting into when you're getting it so right here in this segment you are seeing the HP Pavilion gaming laptop you do see the frame counter in the top left corner uh, previous clip as well top left corner as you can see we're getting about 80 to 70 frames on all epic settings on here um, this is again epic settings on both tests um, you can change the settings and I do have more videos on different settings for both variants if you want to go check down the link in the description down below uh, or not link down in the description below um, the uh, channel uh, my channel I do have a bunch of playlists so if you want to go check those out you can see the full videos and I will try to link the videos uh, actually in the link, links down below as well so in but in this video again we're testing the HP Pavilion gaming laptop and you can be the test for it you can go, uh, scroll it back and watch this part as well and see for yourself the test. Obviously you're going to notice that the PC of course runs Fortnite a lot better and smoother judging by just visual in general uh, but as in just a whole it does run games obviously better um, but that's just kinda of my test on the HP Pavilion gaming laptop versus computer so you could basically see what you're getting into if you were to buy this laptop opposed to a game PC. Now let me go ahead and go over prices. The HP Pavilion is on sale most places for about Five hundred dollars, give or take, five to six hundred dollars. On you can find it on sale. That's on sale. But for the most price, you're gonna pay anywhere from six hundred to eight hundred dollars for the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. And my PC setup that you just saw was about one thousand three hundred dollars, give or take, right about there to fill, build the whole thing. So if you're looking to do that, that's how much you're probably gonna spend, and probably more now. Prices are up on graphics cards and processors and CPUs. Or that's the same thing, CPU, um, or and power supplies. A lot of it's it, they're in high demand now, so it would be probably harder to get those, and you would have to pay more. That being said, those are the comparisons between those. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'll get to you as quickly as possible. And guys, as always, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.